St. Edgar's Church. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every Hammer Church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. St. Edgar's Eve. Break into St. Edgar's Church. Find and steal the Builder's Chalice. Once you've completed all your other objectives, return to your entry point. The front courtyard. Rather simple. Reminds me of the mission we had just done against the Pagans. Remember everyone that we are also playing on hard. We need to steal at least 6% of the loot in this mission and find two special loot items. In addition to this is what the enemies are currently set to. Remember that I have increased the perception of our foes by 60%. So they will be quite more difficult to sneak past. Here's our current gear, in case you guys have forgotten. One explosive mine, 10 flash bombs, 8 health potions, 18 water arrows, 25 broadheads, 2 gas, 4 fire, 10 moss, and 4 noisemakers, in addition to our dagger and our blackjack. Remember as well that we will be attempting to keep the blackjacks to 2, but I'm allowed up to 3. If I go over that number, then I have to find some way to punish myself. I can't think of a way to do it at the moment, other than possibly firing one of each arrow off to waste them effectively, to make it very expensive for me to decide to blackjack someone else. Of course, if we have to kill a human, that will also fulfill a blackjack, as it were. But man, I'm hoping we never have to do that. Remember, as well, before we get going, that we did not get a map of this area. The dude with the map wasn't standing around. He was probably out looking for for us, for trouble, for the mass murderer at the end of the last episode that was killing everyone outside of the Hammerite Church. <laughs> I can't wait to read the paper outside of St. Edgar's if we can make it over here again next episode to read about how many people died. Good God. All right, well, let's get started. going to be tricky. 
tricky to know where we need to go to. Apparently there's some donations left out here as well. Hmm. Let's start by seeing if there's anything around that one hammer's belt that we might be interested in taking. the grains of <sighs> sawdust made in its creation builder lead me against the dark towards the light fire of the forge water of the chalice hammer of the god I remember most of the builders sayings the builder and his followers, Garrett wouldn't have a second eye, and would have died a long time ago. Indeed, have killed everyone in the city. Uh, he would have been responsible for that, if not for the assistance of them. So I will leave some of the donations in the, the builder's places of worship. The condemned man spake upon his day of execution to the brethren. I am innocent. Do not cut off my head on this day. A wise brother tested the man, saying, If thou art innocent, thou canst set thy soul to rights by reciting the builder's holy prayer. Fearful, the condemned man spake, But I am too afraid to remember. I cannot. The wise brother replied, Fear never visits the innocent man. Even if thou art innocent of crime, thou art surely guilty of heresy. A righteous death shall cleanse thee of sin. So was the condemned man's head cleft from his body, and was righteousness visited upon of innocence visited upon him that day. Seems a bit out of line with other texts we've read from the Hammerites. They're more vicious now, apparently. already didst labor to set things aright. Didst I see mine error? Verily, brother, verily.
marks on his belt, but we'll have to run up to get it, and we won't have much time to get back. That would mean another moss arrow. I don't know if a purse carrying at most probably 50 gold worth of wealth, some silver coins, would be worth a 125 gold moss arrow to get it. But... We do have to collect a certain percentage of loot from this location. this. Ah. I'm assuming he stands directly across from this. Who hath taken it? And right from my person, Builder, grant me thy strength for mine arm to smite thy enemies in thy name and for thy purpose. Builder, grant me protection from the evil of the trickster, from the malice of those who would follow him in their dark forest. So shall the Master Builder keep and watch over us. So shall his forge scorch the unrighteous and burn away all that which is impure and of the earth. So shall his blessed servant, Saint Edgar, serve as the messenger to his power. Praise to thee, Lord Builder, and praise to thee, Saint Edgar, thou who didst drink from the chalice and cleanse the land of unworthy in thy righteousness. As thou hast directed, Master Forger Gretis, mine brethren shall summon thee as they retire from their works. Tis well, but make sure tis done in a timely fashion. Last month, several brethren sounded the bell far too late in the eve. If I spy any brother late at his work, shalt I then tell him he needs must receive thy blessing and tarry no longer? To draw Master Forger Gretis, who we see there, and his guard. lead me against the dark towards the light fire of the forge water of the chalice hammer of the god Someone hath taken it!
love the reverence with which we hear the Amorites praying whenever they do so. I think it's really well done. It sounds about right for someone who is faithful to this religion. So did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I have nothing to eat. Father, give me that which I need. And so did his father give to him an iron chisel, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And the next day did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe to me, for I can do not with this chisel. Father, give me that which I need. And the father did us give him a hammer of fine wood and metal, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And so did the son return, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I cannot eat these, I cannot use these to catch fish or gather crops. Father, give me that which I need. And the father did us cleave the begging hand from his son, and saith he, the Builder hath granted thee the fruits of thy labor, which is naught. That's more like it. That's more like it. way for us to maneuver around the courtyard down below this pipe. But I would also like to investigate the main cathedral area here first. to me. I, I think the that's the other. Burn without ceasing, let the builder clan. I think that's the other Hanrite we saw who was investigating why the door was open. But I don't know for a fact that that was. And if I'm wrong and that guy is inside the bell tower now, hoping that door may be a mistake, we'll want to listen for a little bit first. But we'll go back there. Let's go this way first. night let the flame burn without ceasing let the builder cleanse my soul as he cleansed the land this night stone here. 
here, not tile. of the nominations from. I don't want to read the book, probably. I see two silver chalices that could probably afford to be taken, and a note on that altar. Maybe we can get by with taking just one of them. Brothers, High Priest Greedus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chambers. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's Grace direct from Blessed Saint Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership, and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders his burden, High Priest Greedus. On this Saint Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the Builder cleanse my soul. The glory of St. Edgar. Twas the dawning of the last day of battle, and St. Edgar didst see that his forces had us but a few men left hale and unwounded. Then didst he kneel before the chalice, and didst give entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes, or his own death. If it be thy will that thy foe fall, grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be thy will that the foe overcome, Give me death by thy will now, for the foe shalt not have it. Then he supped from the chalice, and did his light and glory fill his limbs, and the foe fell as winter before the spring. And St. Edgar gave praise to the builder, and did as he walked amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and did as he give them sup from the chalice. And they went consumed utterly by the fire of the builder's forge, and the dead were beyond counting. That St. Edgar shalt be praised above praise and gloried above glory, was his visage graven and sculpted in purest gold, that all who saw it should know also the glory of that day and the value of his deeds. way there's probably a small chapel and a uh, sorry rectory off one of these passages without the map though Garrett doesn't know which direction it's in I remember this map pretty well but Garrett doesn't didst thou see inspector drept was that service earlier under St. Edgar's Tis night the let the holy flame day burn of Saint without Edgar. ceasing doth let it the builder surprise you my soul. twould be a greater shame to stand is missing there. thou speakest sense but more and more rare doth he come amongst us his time is spent out in the city the inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals he canst not do that among our brethren for who such wouldst he find here ha <laughs> tis true but tis sad that one of our brethren be such a stranger. Wouldst that he pursue his prayers with such fervor as he pursues his investigation. When he doth pursue the wicked, he bringeth the justice of the builder to the city. But I would that he would set aside his obsession. This talk of a hag is but children's rhymes and nonsense. I doth worry over much. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the Builder cleanse my soul, as he cleanse the land this night. 
fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. We can't tell which the prop which is the proper way to go. But we have learned that we'll probably need the holy symbol. Similar to how we needed a holy symbol to acquire the talisman of air a long time ago from the a different uh, chapel. Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. I thought there was a way to climb up here. I am wrong, there is not. Okay. Oh. No, I don't think there is. We'll need a box to climb up there. Builder, lead me against the dark, towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. the light, fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. There's a box there we might be able to take. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the builder cleanse my soul. That balcony, I'm pretty sure we can climb up night. to it. We just need a little more height. Doth not change the torches frequent enough. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Towards the light, fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. Dropping this might make a lot of noise, so we definitely want to wait until he's far away before we do so. Pass the torch a little more. Let's do it.
this is the factory. Likely the rec uh, rectory is not here. Just opened it apparently. Surely the wicked are a curse and a blight upon the city. We're gonna ring it and here we go. Not very thief like to make such a racket. I hope once is enough to drag the old priest out of his room. I better get out of here before someone starts wondering who rang the bell. May thy next blow strike home. has been up to. High Priest Greedus, praise be, thou and Brother Roland hath secured the chalice in the factory. I have destroyed it the stamped gear as instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine, but even a stamped gear is naught without thy holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus while the symbol rests in thy chambers, surely our relics can be no safer. Brother Thorgrim. High Priest Greedus. Thou hast served tirelessly these twenty years to impart thy wisdom to the world. Indeed, there has been no initiate to leave St. Eggers without the mark of thine own particular brand of teaching blazoned in the stripes upon their backs. In recognition thereof, this token, a jeweled cat of nine tails. Carry it ever with thee, as needs thou must use it often. Brothers Imbril, Partus, Mendes, Raphael. Cat of Nine Tails is a barbed whip, if I recall correctly, with several whips to the handle or strands. Master Forger Greedus, twice in the span of this week hath I spied Brother Reginald pass by the statue of Saint Edgar without pause to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. So that he may achieve penitence with toil in the builder's name, I have sent him to work a doubled shift at the factory. I trust this has thy blessing. I have also a matter of doctrine for thee. Knowest thou the smaller effigy of Saint Edgar that the Lady Warwick hath bestowed upon us? Lady Warwick? We've heard that name. She reached out to Lady Elizabeth to ask for help with her husband who died. Does this artifact require also the recitation of the prayer? Will the value of the object compensate for the lack of size? I shall secure it near my bed in the bunk room till I hear back from thee, Roland. Something? When it's 
stay here briefly. Everyone. Whatever I heard, tis gone. We should have some time before the priest comes back. And I want to make sure there's no patrol that enters this room. The guard's standing right here. Builder, go with thee, brother. Mm -hmm. My ears verily mm -hmm. to hear something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blessed am I, Builder, ah, is that not I but may beast. do the work thou choosest me to do. Yes. Who hath taken this? Arch. <laughs> Is it not? No, no, there's no use. Be there. I can't find the coal. Where I drop him will be too loud. We'll drop him here when that hammerite walks to the right and try to oh, we can't crouch while carrying a body no no there's no use I can't find the coal we'll hope putting him the by that wall will do out. it but we might wake up the gentleman who's sleeping did learn there's another special loot around here near the... Uh, these torches doth constantly set themselves awry. I put out that light to make this area a little darker. Hopefully he won't notice his unconscious brethren. And he did not. No. No, there's no use. I can't find the coal. The furnace shall go out. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, there's no use. I can't find the coal. The furnace shall go out. Oh, We're gonna make noise when we open that chest there. But that's what has the statuette in it. I think we try. If he wakes up, we gas arrow him. shall go out oh, 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 oh. no 
no, there's no use. I can't find the coal. The furnace shall go out. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, there's no use. I can't find the coal. The furnace shall go out. Oh, 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 oh. If I knew it would knock him out now, I would have to use a gas arrow on the sleeping gentleman. No, no, we there's no use. Blackjack him like we I can't the first two find the coal. Sure he is still asleep. The furnace shall go out. Oh, 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 oh. oh. See where he walked. It looks like he's the only guard in this little area. A trickster king, a man who has to build his house of straw, didst see it fall. And the man who has to build his house of twigs, didst see it fall. But the man who has taken <sighs> care and built his house of stone, didst laugh at the trickster and was rendered immune to his beguilings. back to the room where that one guard's patrolling. Shield me from the chaotic one. The trickster. Gas bomb. The gas bomb explodes into a large cloud of knockout gas. Throw it to the ground to affect everyone in a nearby area. I forgot about this! These are very expensive to purchase, if I recall. Not now. Brother Partis, I have gleaned what information I could about these volumes. Homilies of the Jeremites, Illustrated, Priory of the Forge, Glendower Volume, Missing in Karis' Upheavals. Oh, look at that. They've named what the time was when Karis was around. Glory of St. Edgar. Damaged, but legible. Codex of Dominations, A gold-bound and valuable text. Stored in the prayer room on the west side of the church. Top floor. There! What trickery is this? Who is there?
He does not move, does he? Hey everyone, game crashed just as I hit quick save, so I've raced through the level and I did everything that we had just done, exactly as I had done it, placing placing uh, moss arrows in the same places, testing out all the same torches and everything that, everything that we did, I tried to do again. I remember that the game would occasionally crash during quick saves, so I'm gonna. I might have to try to do these levels without any quick saves. It's gonna make it quite a bit more difficult for me. Anyway, it did give me a chance to see that we've been playing for about 42 minutes. We're almost. Well, no, we still have the factory to do, so we'll probably clear out the directory here. Virtuous man both slay the wicked and preserve his own. <sighs> hath thou heard? Master Forger Greedus hath called to all the master forgers of the church that he shall drink from the builder's chalice. Tis madness! The chalice hath been barred for these past fifty years since Master Forger Alibus didst drink and did burn unto death. Tis the Master Forger's wish to call upon all other Master Forgers to drink as well, that he may show himself both brave and righteous. His pride speaketh so, and not his righteousness. And tis dangerous to bring the chalice forth. Twas the means by which so many pagans died. They shouldst well like to destroy it if they hadst but the means. Ha! <laughs> Let the pagans come. And we shall strike them down as we didst in St. Edgar's time. Interesting. <sighs> Very interesting. Those two must have been waiting to have a conversation when we took the elevator down. <laughs> Taken. I just realized when I was redoing this, and I wanted to get it on screen. So we will go ahead and make the attempt to take the painting and then get out of the rectory here. Builder, let my hand strike. Builder, go with thee, brother. build a chapel with twigs and moss. It is not right to live in trees or caves. I thank thee, O Builder, for showing up. That picture is glinting. No, no, it is no use. I can't find the coal. By the 
builder. I see thee there in the library. Thou art discovered. What? Where did that? <clears throat> shall find you the easier the more noise you make. Yeah, you have killed, brother. The soul of a single virtuous man, the worth of ten evil men, for cast not the virtuous man in your soul. Tis nothing to see. I thought that would that led outside that passage, so the only reason I went down there. Okay. Uh we already read this. Here, all right. Ha! Who doth hide and think himself safe? That's not what I wanted to do. Miss the torch? That really worked out. It distracted him, as if it was a noisemaker, effectively. Karis's sin was not his work, for it was well built and didst glory the builder. Karis's sin was in setting himself in judgment where the builder had not. Very wise. I agree with that statement. Couldn't tell if it was treasure or a note. It's a note. All right, everyone. Why don't we stop here? <laughs> That's enough excitement for one day. And uh, we pick up, we'll finish up St. Edgar's. And then we may do a bit of stuff in the hub. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.